got me a Jägermeister and um, <laughs> you know it's probably not the best idea for interviewers is Jägermeister although it's, <laughs> I, although it's medicinal in it many could ways be worse. You, know. you could have shot it's a freaking so tomato stupid. ketchup like you did on the road so where the fuck was it that you did that where he shot oh, the tomato oh, ketchup oh my god I can't remember but yeah he did shots of fucking ketchup from McDonald's didn't you <laughs> Some kind of uh, alcohol, you know. Just <laughs> it was a brown sauce chaser, I distinctly remember. I thought it was going to be like a little Bloody Mary, you know, in the back of the van, you know. <laughs> and it was fucking awful, wasn't it? That man anywhere, really. To her life. <laughs> no. What about you? Have you had a uh, brown sauce chaser? No, 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 never. I don't intend on doing after Rat's face it pulled. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, how long have you been going now? About a year or a little no. longer? Uh, since about 2013, me and Sally started. A uh, bunch of lineup changes. Rat joined us 2015? It was, uh, it was 2014. And uh, they, I, I bumped into Sally and Tim, and I'd known Tim for a little while through work. And um, I've like, got this band, you know, we can't get a fucking bass player though, you know, every bass player's wrong, you know, do you want to come down and have a jam? And I was like, oh my god, a jam, what does that mean? But it turned out to be literally just yeah. slapping jam on instruments. But it was great, because he, he had about four or five, <laughs> he had about seven songs written, four of which are on the first EP. And they were fucking belters, you know, and uh, it was great, and it was like, and it was... Did, uh, while I was packing up the bass, ready to escape, and it was like, uh, no, you're in, you're in. So, uh, <laughs> and then he was stuck, and then he was stuck for some time. And then we had a bunch of, we had uh, lineup change with drummer, and we were having a hard time finding a solid drummer. And then we were rehearsing at a studio in Denton for a bit after we were at EXR for quite a long time. Um, and then the guy who run the studio let us on to Badger, and she came down eventually joined us and then that was it. What was that? What year was that? When three did you years this month. Three years this month. Three years, three years. It's our anniversary, darling. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, three years this month. And then when yeah. we joined, that's when we like, started properly gigging. And, yeah. and you guys have played some big gigs. You've toured Europe. You've played Rebellion. Yeah, one. yeah, it's been one hell of a year. <laughs> Absolutely one hell of a year. It's been amazing. Has this really been, like, the best part of it so far? Um, for me personally, I've joined, uh, joined for three years and loved every single minute of those three years. So it... I'd be, this I'd be, year was special. This year was... I think where everybody hoped to be. I mean, when I first joined, they were like, oh, we'd love to play Rebellion. I'm like, what is this rebellion you speak of? Because I've come from a metal and rock background. So, you know, um, I didn't really know anything about it. But then I went for the first time. I played with another band that I, I was with uh, for 18 months during that three years. I played with them um, at Rebellion last last year. And it was the most amazing time. I'm like, shit, yes, we want to play Rebellion. Holy shit. So we applied and we, we, we played it this year, didn't we? We did. It was Yay. amazing. It was amazing. And we're back, thankfully. Yes. Yeah. We're back again this, well, 2020. Yeah, wanted us back. That's quite surprising, but you know. <laughs> you didn't fuck up. You did well. <laughs> Somehow, no, but you know. <laughs> it's a hard weekend. <laughs> and are you heading off to Europe again this year, I think, or 2020? We are planning to get back over to Germany at the very least in May, at the start of May. Same as we did this year. Brexit but is holding us up yeah. because we'd already booked a couple of gigs. Um, is it Punk and Disorder in Berlin? The 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 um, uh, the what? The pre-show. Pre yeah. Yeah. We 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 uh, been offered the pre-show to do that, but then suddenly we find out we have to pay X amount of money for passes, merch, and all that, and we we really do do this DIY and we don't have the money for extra um, uh, payments and taxes you know and it, it used to be in Europe you could just pile over there yeah. do your bit sell some and still, merch and still you you'll, you'll come out at a loss anyway like last oh, yeah. 
you know, as everybody fucking does, you come out at a loss, but, you know, there is no fucking label or anything back in this. This is yeah. just us just on what little work we can fucking get. Yeah. And, and yeah, when, if, you know, well, when Brexit goes through at this fucking point, which is a fucking chitter of it all, is, yeah, it will highly affect the way that we are able to actually move abroad. It'll kill off the scene, it'll kill off the DIY scene. Yeah. Bollocks, I'm not even going to call it politics, it's fucking bollocks. It's going to ruin everything. Um, I've the government about it, and I've, I've had their reply saying, look, we discussed earlier on in Article 36A that, it, you know, stuff like this, bans and that tour in Europe will not be affected, but it's still... Uh, well, I know it's still, uh, it's still not concrete, and so we can't book any more gigs, and I don't want to let down Wilder Heart or... Uh, the guys in Munich. The, uh, We've got four dates booked um, out of maybe, I think we wanted to do 14 dates. Um, and we've not even been able to finish doing the planning because we don't know what the hell Boris is doing with anything. Yeah, and that's always a good question. Yeah, well, I don't think <laughs> Boris knows what fucking Boris is doing, does he? Until Dominic oh. Cummings tells him. No, he's quite frankly in the fucking fridge, man. <laughs> <laughs> Tiding. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Cunt. Does he want to pass us a beer? <laughs> yeah. At the very least, you know, it's the least he could do, but that's the kind of person he is, you know. He's the kind of person who won't pass you a beer. Yeah. He'll go in the fridge and not give you a beer. people got it and uh, understood the po political polemic we were putting out and, and, and appreciated the sort of not in your face music 
you know, the sort of we use dynamics in our music, and I think people understood it. We had a lot, lots of people like that, that we wouldn't have expected. Just like fucking, uh, yeah, man, that was great. You know, Berlin was an amazing response. At Berlin I think one of the funny things with touring, especially Europe, and the reason that bands like us want to do it so much is you are treated extremely differently as a band by not only the promoters but also the people who come to gigs. Exactly. Yes. And what the there. What they're there to see and what they get out of it for fucking being there. It's a nice thing. It was like, I couldn't believe when we played Berlin, it was a bunch, mostly just random bands, mostly from out of town as well. So, why there was like, I think there were about 70 people there maybe, but which is a really fucking good turnout for somewhere you've never played. And the response was incredible off them, but just people showing up, supporting the scene, and that's. What it's, all what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. What it's all about. Exactly. And what's next for you aside from hopefully playing Europe, playing Rebellion? But do you have any plans for recording or oh, anything yes. else coming? Starts next month. Ah. Album number two. Okay. It's going to be blinding. <laughs> Defin- if what I saw today is anything to go by, yes, it will be. Oh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah we're looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah we're, produ- we're producing it ourselves again. Uh-huh. Um, with my, my brother Sam, so same way we did it last time, yeah. Um, yeah, keeping we, it DIY and releasing it ourselves. Yeah, I think for the most we, part, we have about three songs in the pipeline to make it up to album length, but we just haven't had the time because we've been touring to to really sit down and well sit down, stand and play <laughs> in the rehearsal room. And um, but yeah, it's uh, there, there will be a new album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there will be a new album around uh, springtime, I guess. We were, to, we were open to get it out before uh, the tour in May, yes. and possibly do some kind of a. I like doing a bit of promoting, so I was open to get a couple of things going on somewhere in Manchester yeah. around that time. And if people want to get your material, where can they find it? Uh, easiest place: see the messages directly on yeah. our Facebook page, or you can go on Bandcamp and buy merch through there. Um, get, go to yeah. their band camp, listen to it, buy you it. Can, you can get to us through Bandcamp for selling merchandise, but you can also hit our Facebook yeah. page and ask and, and ask us. Just you can pay Paul across, and, and we'll just post it. You we're, we're quite good at replying to people. Well, I'm not, but um, it's mostly badgering all friends that does all the replying to people. Wipe stuff off. <laughs> I I just delete yeah. messages. It's like <laughs> where did that go? Like this do. <laughs> oh, shit! I've just wiped out the messages. <laughs> Yeah, apologies anyway. Don't let him that. near the messages. <laughs> I, th- I think he's trying to operate your Android phone like in the cold and wet while you're drunk. You're just like, what the fuck does this do? Mm. That doesn't yeah. work. I just fucking phone. <laughs> For fuck's sake, you know. I want, I want to get out in a forest and chop trees. I don't need fucking Android. You know. <laughs> I was just going to ask if he was a lumberjack and he didn't care. <laughs> oh, you know, no, I'm just like, you know, God, Jesus, you know. I love the fact that technology is taking over so fast, but it's so intrusive into your life that I try not to fucking Massively. get involved too much with it uh, beyond communication. And uh, it really does me facing, you know, that. Um, you know, corporate companies like Google and that, who were, you know, they, is, is, are Google evil or that they started off with their fucking, uh, I don't know. Their motto was do no evil, That's it, do but no evil. those two men have now left. They're doing more evil than they could ever fucking. Uh, they changed and the way not, our society not, works. I know, completely. I'm not paranoid, uh, but it just like, fuck that, go with duck, duck, go. <laughs> a song that's going to be on the album is called AI and it's all about the intrusion of, of social media and the internet and how everything is monitored by corporations and, and stuff like that and that'll be on the album we didn't play it tonight but um, we tried to play it tonight <laughs> you tried to play it but you no, was, did we? yeah yeah. we got, we got about oh, yeah, t- yeah. four bars in or something and one of us was playing it wrong because we've not played it recently yeah. <laughs> we're not going to do that one yeah. <laughs> yeah. it is brand I think we've played it twice uh, we've heard it twice um, at gigs and all the way 
to the gig, we've been listening to it on the stereo, like, right, I've got to remember this bit, right, okay, I've got to remember that bit. It's quite a complex song um, in the grand scheme of things. Um, and I, I love playing it. It's it's fun for me to play because it's all over the kit. It's absolutely all so you over just, it. You just hit every one of the skins. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. The tom work on that song is fucking so cool. It bounces around. But yeah. Yeah, it's good fun, but that's going to be on the album, Denied along with... tonight. Denied. Big time. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. No, not necessarily. I mean, it just, <laughs> just went wrong, didn't it? But yeah. uh, <laughs> it, it did, like, two bars of it. You know, I think people got the idea. I, I think as a band, we're constantly looking to, you know, use, <laughs> you, you use different avenues of music and styles, you know, and uh, at the moment, we're in the tribal zone. Uh, you know, with Holy War, we were in the... the, the the dub guitar zone and uh, there's, there's just loads of zones like to use. You know, we all like that such different so things in our in, in this, uh, That like, makes interesting yeah. songs so that's a good thing. We don't, we don't really stick to one thing as long as we can all agree we'd like it which is sometimes quite difficult <laughs> but as long as we can do that and it might take three months or three hours but you know. But um, you get there. We get there in the end. Yeah. And yeah, it comes up with something that's generally a bit different from the thing before, and that's, you know, as long as we're happy doing it, it keeps it interesting for us as well. That makes sense, and that's a good thing as well. And I want to thank you guys so much for speaking with us, and uh, looking forward to the next time I see you. Thank you so much, thank you. You're welcome. Great to see you, thank Thank you. you. (laughs) Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks, Shelley. Thanks, (laughs) MPRB News. Oh, yeah.